Okay, guys and girls, so now we are back to continue this texture attribute lecture. The third texture attribute that is commonly used, which is, is contrast. Contrast measure the image contrast or the amount of local variation present in the image. It is also known as inertia as referring to the contrast pixel and its homogeneity. Means how a picture or an object is uh, contrasting to the surrounding based on the amplitude attributes. The second, the, the fourth texture attribute is homogeneity which measure the overall smoothness of an image. It achieves its maximum value when the occurrence in the GLCM are concentrated near the main diagonal. Homogeneity is an inverse to contrast, means it's more homogeneous and uh, if it's more homogeneous, means it is very uh, minimal contrast. In order for us to understand these texture attributes, let us have a look on a case study where we can apply a texture attribute in our uh, decision making. So this case study is focuses on Southern Alberta formation, which is the highlighted zone. In this is a highlighted zone. This is a lower Cretaceous gluconite field fluvial deposits that have been productive in the area. So a 3D survey was acquired to create stratigraphic model consistent with the available well control. And actually we have three wells but only shown two wells in the cross two wells in the cross section. So well one and well two are producing hydrocarbon from the same formation. Well well 3 are producing hydrocarbon from different uh, quality which is it has different pressure and apparently does not share the same producing formation from well 1 and well 2. So well 3 is not appearing in this cross section because it is located in a different uh, section. So our goal here is to locate the remaining undeveloped potential in the known fluvial deposits and find additional drilling target. So this is a just one case study. You can find another case study if you go to this website. The time slices on the left side is showing a true amplitude slices using red, blue, white color while the time slices on the left side is a coherence attribute which you haven't learned yet but coherent attribute is actually measurement of the similarity in the wavelet. So if you use coherent attributes, it will give you how much similar a wavelet that sits next to each other. If a low coherence means it will give poor similarity, low coherence will be represented in black color in this event while high coherent will give good similarity which is represented as whiter or grayish color in this situation as example here you can see some uh, important or recognizable geological features based on these two time slices as you can see, in the area where we have brighter color of true amplitude, which might be the white and slightly reddish, we can have a low coherence, which indicate by the black color. This black color pattern, especially in the mouse that I'm pointing, in the zone that I'm pointing, is showing something like a flowing channel or fluvial system. Even we have some thing dividing in this area as well as in this area. So these are the location of our well. Where well 1 and well 2 are producing from the same formation. And well 3 are producing from different formation with different pressure. So as we go further. Amplitude 
attribute or true amplitude attribute is the basic attributes that we always view in our seismic data. So it is useful for the seismic interpreters as they provide new insight for studying objects in 3D. A strata slice of amplitude from the migrated stack of the reservoir can be further, this, this uh, amplitude attributes can be further applied with texture attribute. The first texture attribute being applied which is energy. We can actually apply this attribute in Petrel and the product will be in GLCM which is gray level and we then apply some colors to the produce texture attribute. So again, colors are very important in our seismic attributes. So the value of this energy will be meaningless if we don't have a legend to show around. So these legends are showing low energy is uh, will be in blue color while high energy will be in red colors. As we can see, our wells, especially well 1 and well 2 are located in a very high energy location while well tree might be located in a moderate energy location so the the description of energy distribution based on well can be uh, showing that can be mentioned as well one and well two are located in high energy and well three is located in the moderate energy you can even further investigate the higher energy location in this uh, area we can always refer back to true amplitude and coherence attribute. So this part is showing high energy as we can compare. The next one is entropy. Entropy shows low color in the blue side and high, color, high results, high entropy in the red, reddish side. So both well 1, well 2 and well 3 are mainly located in the moderate to low entropy. This will give some indication of the reservoir which we will later find out. For the homogeneity, as we can see, well 1 and well 2 are more homogeneous, have high homogeneity compared to well 3 which is almost moderate because the color are slightly blue and the last texture attribute will be contrast which is 